All right, guys, so give you a quick rundown. You see what it looks like. This is the before without any sanding. And I'll show you guys what it looks like after I use 400 grit and 1,000 and 2,000 and a little bit of WD-40. Show you the final process. I like to use a paintbrush, wrap it. That's for the channel. I like to use my brush for the rear tabs. And then I like to use a flat file for where the front locking block tabs were. So I'll show you guys what it looks like afterwards. With the tabs removed, start off with 400 grit, work your way up to 1,000, 2,000 if you really want to take the extra time, I like to. And uh, we'll show you what the results look like. So, let you get a look. So this is with 1000 grit finish. I'm gonna still go down to uh, 2000. But like I told you, can't even tell there was tabs over there. Now that I got it out of the jig, I'll be able to get the final areas that I couldn't reach with the jig on there. As well as right here and up here at the channel pretty much maculant. Get all that crud off so you can get a look at how clean it is. flawless and once I finish it up with 2000 it'll look like a factory frame as you can see these tabs are all nice and cleared out don't even see that they were even there just got those final areas like I was saying so I might even sand all this right here on this. Must have been their mold. I want to just have a nice clean, no lines, just smooth all the way through. So I'm going to get back to doing that as well as right here. I'm going to clean all that up. And then I'll show you guys the final product after 2000 grit sanding. So I'll be back. All right, so here's what it looks like after doing that sanding. Got all the imperfections from the mold off all around the entire top of the frame. So if you want a nice, smooth finish to your frame, that's how I go about it. Use a paint brush, the sandpaper wrapped around it to do this area here. Flat file to finish up this area, and then that thinner brush to finish this area. And once I got it down to the jig level, then I take it out of the jig and I just finish up everything else by hand with uh, the finishing grit sandpaper between 1000 
and then 2000 with WD-40 and that's what it will look like so if you guys got any questions go ahead and ask in the comments below that's the end of part four gonna get to part five gonna be putting it together to hit that like button and I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.